Hey guys, it's you watching because you want to know Lee. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Modular Castle, which isn't too modular anymore. We're sort of building the detail parts and additionally to it, there isn't much more copy and pasting if any required anymore. So it's just Let's Build a Castle from now on, I think. Today, I want to dress up the surrounding area uh, on the ca castle island, we'll call it. Um, we did have... It's sort of shaped roughly, as you can see, it's very sort of round. You can see a lot of balls. We need to sort of smoothen that out a little bit. But then the castle ended up being bigger than what I anticipated. Uh, so we had to sort of add this chunk over the back. So now we have this sort of weird, thin um, platform, if you like, floating there. But I don't want it too much bigger than the castle. As you can see, I've tried to keep it as close to it uh, as possible, which makes putting the land now a little bit tricky however there is a way that we can do it if we grab a couple of swords and we make the first one let's say the wooden sword we make it a very small bauble a very small ball what i don't want to do is i want to don't want to break the castle that's what i'm trying to not do here so we want a brush sphere of grass size one so that's that big okay now, if I go underneath here, if I made it a, a, my normal, like, three, four, or five block orb, when I click underneath here like this, as you can see, it sort of places it in the middle. So, the, 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 the ball would be huge and it would hit the castle, causing all kinds of problems. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start off by just using a small one coming down here. And then, once we're down far enough, we can then use the uh, stone one to make a larger one i don't know let's go if we go five ooh. i've just placed an orb somewhere in the distance i don't know where but somewhere over there i click there and uh something like this you see and then we don't touch the uh the castle at all now shape doesn't really matter to begin with because as you can see it, it's a very orby shape anyway uh we have to sort of go around afterwards smooth it all off and make it look nice uh, but if we just sort of start off roughly on this corner, I think I can go up a couple as well. Like this. Again, we don't want to go too ooh, we don't want to go too higher. I don't mind it there because I can why is there zombie flesh there? Uh because I can obviously just level that back out again. But we need to be a little bit careful not to click where it's gonna bust into the castle at all. I think I need to go a little bit below, don't I? At the moment it only just sort of sits on top of the water it doesn't really go under the water too much um <clears throat> to be honest ooh. huh i'm getting there <laughs> to be honest that doesn't bother me uh too much it bothers uh you guys a lot more than it does me to me it looks like when it's like this it looks like it does go into the water and it does touch the ground some people like to go all the way underground and build it underground the only trouble is, is it takes a really really long time to work underwater and it's very dark so i don't do it on camera and it doesn't really affect me that much so i don't bother to do it uh off camera either because it just doesn't bother me uh, so we just need to continue this all the way around, join it back up. Uh, yeah, no, I think that's a good amount of room here. So I'll have something like that. And then come down another level. So on the map, you can see on the map, we're looking very baubly. Uh, it, it almost looks like trees, doesn't it, that we're sort of placing? Almost looks like trees. So after this, what we can do is we can very carefully use the smoothing brush um, or what I'm most likely going to do in this case is actually do it by hand and place like in little gaps here, uh, place little dirt blocks uh, to fill them up with. I don't want it too, gr I want it a very steep hill as well. I don't want to be able to climb up it at least too easily because it wouldn't be any point in having the castle elevated if it's easy to climb it. Um, boom. Uh, but uh, doing it by hand, you get a lot more control. Uh, you're able to uh, make the shapes a lot less smooth, a lot quicker in some cases. Um, but uh, I think, uh, especially towards the bottom, we can use the smoothing tool. Towards the top, we really can't because um, we'll hit the castle. We'll smooth into the castle and cause all kinds of problems that I don't want to be dealing with. I think we're almost there, right? I think we've almost, there we go. So, 
it's no longer floating. We've got a nice, ooh, a little bit of float there. Um, but we've got this sort of nice chunk to be able to support the weight of the castle. I really like the ability to sort of go underneath it, though. That's super cool. But the main weight of the mountain is, uh, or the way, main weight of the castle is still held by the mountain. So, sword. If we grab another sword here, we can make this one into a smooth tool. Uh, brush. Smooth. We'll just keep it the default size, 2 by 4 for the moment. Uh, no, I think I can make it a little bit bigger. So we can now smooth this off. And as you can see, we get rid of the circle effect that we have. Uh, at first, it looks not quite as natural as you might want. Uh, but if you keep sort of working on it, it will eventually get there. Now, we need to be careful. Yeah, see, we're getting very close to the castle there. This is actually going better than I thought. I thought we would have been... Oh, yeah. Undo. See? See that? We just wrecked it. Just as I say, this is going better than I thought. <laughs> okay, we'll make the brush a little bit smaller there. I was expecting this. As I said, we'll use smaller ones as we get towards the top or do it by hand. But this is already, this is actually doing going a lot better than I thought. I thought this was actually going to be quite a hard work. When you get to corners with the brush tool, it can be a little bit tricky because it seems to want to do it on basically like on one axis so it requires a little bit of teasing to get the corners in but we've done it many times oh, i've done it many times i don't think you've ever seen me do this for uh too long because i always cut it away like i will do um but like the mountain in the city world and stuff like that uh used exactly the same tactic to make it taller you know to put the snow peak on uh it was exactly like this you just start off with load a bunch of balls and smooth it off. There are better mods to do this with. There is there there are better uh, terrain modifying mods. Um, Voxel Sniper, uh, I hear, is a good one. Obviously, I'm just using World Edit, um, but apparently Voxel Sniper. I've never used Voxel Sniper, um, but apparently that's a pretty good tool for for landscaping and terraforming with. Um, so if you guys know that mod at all. Uh, then I would recommend probably using that over this. This is a little bit finicky and a little bit dangerous in some <laughs> in some parts. But let's just come back around uh, this way again. I don't mind the trees. I can bust the trees up. I ain't got a problem with that. We can fix all that later if we want to. It's a little bit bally at the bottom. And now we should be able to see that on the map we're not looking quite as as round. Uh, we should be looking a little bit, little bit more natural. So a little bit of hand work here. Like that. You see, we're getting a little bit more natural. Lo it's looking a little bit square in some place, a little bit straight. But we've definitely got rid of that ball effect. It looks a lot better. It looks great on this side on the map, in fact. On the back side, it looks a little bit Minecrafty, shall we say. You can see some very straight lines happening. Now, that's because this sort of wants to make square, uh, straight lines. So I put another ball there, and then I round that off, and I put another ball here, and I round that off. We're getting a little bit closer. See, I'm trying to, trying to keep away these lines a little bit. Give it a little bit of roughing, smoothing it back off again. Yeah, and that's looking so much better. There's a lot of flat stuff down here. But that's certainly helping. I'm going to work on this a little bit, and I shall be back to sort of dress this up, make it look a little bit more uh, um, better, should we say. Okay, see you in a bit. All right, I'm very happy on how this is looking now. I've gone around as well, and I've... Ooh, one's grown. I've added a load of saplings to get a bunch of trees on here. It doesn't matter if they all don't grow. Uh, in fact, if some of them stay as saplings, I'm very, very happy with that. But it looks much more natural. We've got this much more natural looking uh, hill going on. Uh, even on the thinner parts now, it looks like an actual proper stand. I love how the towers drop all the way down. I think that's so cool. I've done it on the other side as well because when we've done this one, uh, it looks like I forgot to do the other side. So, oh, and someone said the bridge, were, a couple of people said the bridge went right, and I, yeah, but I don't on this side as well. Looks really, really cool with all the saplings. Yeah, uh, some, a bunch of you said that the bridge wasn't right, right when I built this, and I haven't had a chance to come over and fix it. Something about the left side and the right side. Uh, the ropes was one of the things. To me, 
The ropes look fine. The width is symmetrical. The legs, maybe they commented it and then I fixed it. But the legs certainly seem in line. And those are in line. Oh, I forgot the stales on them. Maybe, maybe that was one of the things. But to me, I can't see anything wrong with it. I don't know, maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I'm missing something really obvious. Maybe I'm missing something really obvious that you guys can see and I'm just being completely blind to. But to me, that doesn't look wrong. To me, that looks fine. Okay, so we want bone meal now. What we want to do is we want to really bone meal everything on the side of the mountain. We want to get flowers. We want to get long grass. Now, the trouble is, is that on a hill, bone meal doesn't work all that great. <laughs> it doesn't, the bone meal doesn't seem to spread too well. So it requires a lot of clicking. But the, the bonus of a lot of clicking is that you're going to double click on some of them as well, making them into long grass, which is what you want. You want some long, some short. Uh, the more the range of flowers that we get, the better. At the moment, we've only got... Uh, yellow and red. Maybe in this biome they're the only two flowers that we can get. That would be a little bit of a shame. Um, but it doesn't matter because we can place them naturally. We can make our, uh, put our own flowers down with the tulips and stuff like that. But I just find it really nice when you get like a, uh, a complete mix of different flowers going on here. Okay, let's just go. I find it easier what I've done with the, uh, with the saplings. I always find it easy to go down like... Uh, one layer at a time maybe not one block at a time but like a layer is in like three blocks worth of uh, or yeah three blocks worth of uh, of area uh, and to go down like that so then this second one you sort of click around and you sort of cover three or five ish layers of blocks that way you don't miss as much I zigzag it like this uh, you don't miss as much as many places it doesn't mean that you, uh, it doesn't Make you have to go round a bunch afterwards to make sure you haven't missed anything. But it is quite important to do this before all the trees have grown. Because, yeah, like that. When all the trees are grown, they get in the way. And the more trees are there, the more that they get in the way. Then you have to try and find your way underneath them uh, to be able to place them and stuff like that. So, we need bone meal. We need more flowers. Uh, we want long grass and stuff like that. I might even add some... I've done that side. Might even add some sort of uh, uh, long ferns as well. Obviously, you guys know that I, I like the long ferns. So we have to add those, unfortunately, by hand. Sugarcane towards the bottom, I think, will look fabulous. Ooh, a block missing. A couple of blocks missing. There we go. You will find these. You're never going to get it perfect off the bat. You'll, you'll always find, like, little little tiny holes that you miss. Uh, but, yeah, sugarcane towards the bottom. Obviously, we can only put sugarcane where there's water and there's not too many places uh because we've got a nice steep uh, uh a, a very steep sort of incline to this mountain there's not many places uh, at all i think that the water or that there's a grass block one block uh, above on the same level isn't it as, as the water i don't think there's many at all see like there is down here but this was already there to begin with Oh, these trees are growing quickly. Yeah, there's so many Endermen underneath this island. It's like Enderman Cove should be the nickname for underneath the castle. Because so when I looked under there a moment ago, they were just all Endermans. Oh, a beautiful big tree. I used oak trees because they're very uh, supple, let's say, on where they spawn. They're not uh, that picky at all. They'll spawn pretty much anywhere, uh, which is fan. Ooh, get in there. Which is fantastic. All the other trees, oh, apart from birch trees, uh, but like spruce trees and, and, and jungle trees and stuff like that, are very, very picky. They need to have very specific uh, spawning requirements, uh, head height, room, and, and stuff like that. Oak trees, they just grow pretty much no matter where. Bing, 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 bing. So, yeah, it makes it a little bit uh, more generous to where they grow. Otherwise, you've got to have such a big area. So already, that is looking so much better to look at, right? But we haven't got enough flowers. What I need to do, I think we're going to have to forget the sugarcane. The sugarcane isn't going to be able to go anywhere, is it? And I don't want to really add 
a layer around it. Once the trees grow, it's going to really bring a lot of life to it. I'm going to go around. I'm going to add a bunch more flowers, different flowers. And I'm going to add um, some long ferns and stuff like that. Not that it's going to make a huge difference. But to me, it really does make a difference. It makes the build look a lot better to me. Okay? So I should be back. All right. I am very, very happy. It took ages, but I'm very, very happy on how this is looking. The ferns, I don't know if it's me being biased because ferns are my favorite block in the game. Anyway, double high ferns are my favorite block in the game. But the ferns really stand out. It might be because I look at them and I like them. I don't know why I like them. They're such a boring plant. <laughs> but I really like them in Minecraft. And uh, check out this tree. This tree might be the tallest tree like naturally that i've ever seen it is huge like like oak tree obviously jungle trees are taller but like this the the trunk on that is massive i mean there's a few tall trees but that like that's a normal tall tree big tree that is a huge trunk on it crazy and then i added some rose bushes and some what are these peonies I always forget the names of them uh, around the side just to give it a little bit of color i just had not to go with the tulips and stuff they weren't i tried them but they weren't giving off enough color you couldn't see them so uh the double high plants uh, as you can see like right way from back here you can see exactly where uh they are and they look really really nice really really cool i tried to do the peonies in some sort of some sort of pattern on the back here like a wave pattern i just thought it looked pretty nice yeah and then i added a little bit of a chunk out of the back here just because it looked the, the the mountain looked a little bit flat along the back so adding like a little almost like a little turtle tail to it isn't it <laughs> almost like a little turtle tail so what i'm going to try now is something that might break my minecraft so if it does break my minecraft i apologize and i shall see you next episode but if it doesn't i'm hoping that we're going to be able to make this look a little bit more uh mountainous okay in a sort of way what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the entirety of the mountain i've already done my left click way on the other corner of the castle and they're gonna come up here oh i'm way too high it doesn't matter as long as i'm sort of roughly the same height as it i'm gonna do my second click over here now as you can see there's a lot of dirt and grass or the whole thing is made up of dirt and grass the grass parts i don't i haven't even done nothing yet <laughs> i haven't even changed the number when i've frozen okay but Oh, no, there we go. I was going to say, I'll just carry on talking for a minute. Um, I don't want to change any of the grass. The grass is a top layer. However, the dirt in the side, I don't want to be entirely dirt. I'm thinking maybe if we replace the dirt, not entirely with stone, but if we mix, replace dirt with dirt and stone. That's what I'm thinking. So we get a mix of dirt and a mix of stone. Hopefully it could look pretty cool. It might break my Minecraft, so if it does, I shall see you next episode. But we're going to go replace dirt with gra with uh, stone and dirt. I don't want it all to be stone, which is why I'm keeping a little bit of dirt in there. Sneeze. I'm fine. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Break the Minecraft gate. Two slashes. Three, two, one. Break the Minecraft game. 76,000 blocks have been replaced. But that really worked. Hey? That super worked. That was 76,000 blocks all at once. Oh my god. That looks so much better than I actually thought it would. And it'll even do the same on the underside here as well, look. We've got stone and dirt all under underneath here, all nicely random. That looks so nice. I thought, in my head, when I thought of the idea, I thought, yeah, no, that could look pretty cool. But I did not expect it to look as cool as that. That stone, that extra colour in there, really makes it stand out. Well, what a great way to finish off the episode, huh? Very nice. You couldn't tell that that was actually made from scratch there was just ocean here there was nothing there and the trees are growing really nice there's another tall trunked one uh the trees are growing super nicely we're getting a nice spread i think there's quite a few more trees still to go on here but we've got a real good collection uh, of them now i love how that stone fits in there 
See, it does it a little bit naturally. Like, we can see a little bit of stone there and there, but not too much. But I think that looks fantastic. Minecraft should load like that. Imagine if that hill had that stone all mixed in. Mojang, if you're watching, which they won't be, <laughs> change your entire terrain generation so it does that. Oh, I'm so happy. All right, guys. Uh, see you in the next episode. I'll get rid of that pillar too. See you in the next episode.